is and cannot be denied is an adopted legal binding agreement between the residents and local government that says here is how we're going to grow and develop together. And primary as the city of Winter Park, the first things you say in your plan is that you're going to maintain the overall low density village character of Winter Park. You also say exactly within your comp plan that you set a hierarchy. The comp plan is the top of the hierarchy, then the land development code, then the CRA plan, and then other documents. So when the comp plan sets a standard, you don't jump to the land development regulations that were referenced to say, here's the criteria to change the plan. The plan sets the criteria, sets the standards of what you want to accomplish. Additionally, in terms of your policies in the comp plan, it's not just the one plan policy that says strongly to discourage. You say it so many times in your plan, you don't want people to forget it. Policy 1-361, maintain the scale and character of the existing neighborhood. That means new development, also it's new development and redevelopment must comply with and be consistent and compatible with the existing neighborhood. It doesn't say new development and redevelopment redefines the neighborhood to be what they are proposing. It also says policy 1-36.2, maintain the quality and character of single family neighborhoods. Objective 1-3.8, city shall provide for development and redevelopment when compatible with the scale and compatibility of the neighborhood. Objective 1-4.1, preserve the integrity and character of planning areas. As um, the lawyer said, planning area H is Hannibal Square. So it's not just one policy. It's so important you can't stop saying it often enough. And if you said it often enough, you should need to maintain it. One of the things she also indicated was the basis for doing this is right next to them is non-residential commercial mixed use development. And there needs to be a transition. And they're gonna provide the transition so that their vacant property is an immediate drop off. Well, what's to the east of their property that becomes the non-drop off? At some point, you have, if you use that logic, the drop-off stops when you reach Park Avenue.